Hi everyone, we have eight piles today, starting from the top left corner, we're going to have pile one, and the top right corner is going to be pile four, on the second row, bottom left corner is going to be pile five, and the bottom right corner is going to be pile eight. If you are feeling indecisive, I do have a auto number generator link in my description box, or you can just take some time right now to pick with your intuition, and timestamps will be down below. Hello Pile 1, welcome to your reading. So you guys had 7 cards fall out and usually, um, tarot cards, sorry, and usually I only pick out 3, so that's just telling me your guides are really pulling through for you right now and have a lot to say. So starting off, we have the Ten of Swords and Death. A lot of you have been through some major endings and it's not been easy. The transformation has been difficult and your guides are really saying it's not in vain. You may still feel you're in a place of chaos and conflict, or if you're wondering, is a certain situation gonna bring me more chaos and conflict? You're meant to really step away from that right now. Oops, I just had something fall. Coyote spirit, trust in divine detours. Trust that what didn't work out, it was meant to take you exactly where you were meant to be. If you kept on that path, it just would have it would have led to like more dis destruction i feel and it would stop you from transforming and um which and if you didn't transform you wouldn't be able to go towards your happiness and i'm not even joking when i say that because we have the king of wands we have the ten of cups and the ten of pentacles and the king of swords i'm seeing two people here we will talk about that but what i'm seeing is um i see you guys being really resilient you're like you've been through a lot but you're also like i'm not going to give up now and i see you not just letting oop, everything is falling maybe it's a metaphor <laughs> for how chaotic and hectic things have been but i was let's pretend i'm holding the nine of wands um i see you being really really resilient and not giving up on yourself and because of that you're going to be blessed with what seems like the love of a lifetime and i'm seeing two people here i feel like the person you're dealing with for some of you guys this person still has a love because we had the love card for others others of you i'm seeing it's going to be someone else it's going to be someone else we have the king of wands and the king of swords especially if you're dealing with the fire sign i see you possibly dealing with an air sign or someone with air placements or vice versa if you're de dealing with air placements someone with fire um even the connection if you're i feel with um isolation physical connection community i think there is love here with this person there is but it's just it's it's not enough it's like this connection is a bit toxic with addiction there's codependency here there's um control issues here and there's like it's just holding you down do you see one sec how your love is actually something you feel chained to and love is not supposed to feel like something you're chained to it's supposed to make you feel free and good and with the runner i feel like this was um for some of you maybe this is you but i honestly feel like for a lot of you it's a person you're dealing with someone who runs they're a runner they listen to their ego and that's affected your how secure you felt and how someone feels about you has nothing to do with your worth i promise you it has nothing to do with that um the only trouble begins when you start to devalue yourself and make yourself smaller for someone or stop pouring into yourself and then you truly start to believe oh i'm not enough and that's not true at all whatsoever i am seeing um the person you're dealing with Again, this can be some of you. You guys may be dealing with jealousy issues right now, but I feel like I'm sensing love here. I'm sensing this person is jealous. I'm also sensing other people were jealous of your connection or are jealous of you with the slimy card. And I'm not saying love is gonna, like, this love's gonna come in right away, but I think Spirit really wanted to say this message to you because you're not the type of people who have to be like you really need to get your life together what i'm seeing is you've been doing like really really well 
with the nine of wands you've been so resilient and strong and brave and you're going to be blessed and spirit just wants you to know we are going to bless you with so much happiness ten of wands and sorry ten of cups and ten of pentacles that is like honestly perfect that's as perfect as it can get and it's gonna happen in time the thing is it's such a big thing it can't just be the, the greatest things need time or need to come in at the right time right because it's not it's just gonna happen perfectly how it's meant to and you need to hear that because i think with all the chaos you sometimes lose sight of what spirit is holding for you in this group i'm telling you your guides are pulling through to really tell you we've got this we've got this big reveal for you what is hidden will be revealed right that's how life works especially when we're on our path that just because you can't see it right with your visual eye doesn't mean it's like literally not right there it is and i'm hearing the truth will come out you will see the truth and you will you will find this this will be revealed to you in time and right now oh my god i was talking about how you can't see and do you know why you can't see the light because you're so used to people bringing you down you're so used to the darkness that it's hard to get excited about the future it's not i'm not saying you're only you may feel like you're only going to be happy until this love comes in no you can be even happier and feel better as soon as this little depression monster or sadness monster whether these are people or your own thoughts guys if you can move that aside and start to feel the light again and love yourself because you have so much i see you taking more risks in the future and a lot of you are being called it's such a difficult time you you isolation came out this is a difficult time to feel connected to people it's not going to be forever though guys and i want you to remember that and i want you to prepare yourself and try and find ways to comfort yourself and love yourself and be ready um for when you're going to finally break free because i see you breaking free new risks new opportunities and you're really going to soar and fly and when when you reach that point i see you encountering this love here this really really like once in a lifetime type love and we have venus in aquarius so i see you guys um not being more detached but focusing more on um your friends or things you love to do stuff that makes you feel more whole aquarian to me is like such a bird's eye lens of things it it's a humanitarian but it's able to do all this because it doesn't get so emotionally attached and it, it's not like um expecting something in return if that makes sense it, i see you like putting your energy where you know it's going to be reciprocated and that's going to make you feel really really powerful and happy and yeah just i see you embracing a more aquarian eccentric energy and um really finding yourself and being yourself more and in the ninth house of expansion religion travel i see some of you guys traveling in the future or just this is a huge focus on expanding your life and expanding on knowledge third house ninth house see the more you expand on your ideas and do what these amazing ideas like don't um i i see you're not like restricting yourself anymore even if it's a tiny thing like maybe when covid is you know less crazy especially wherever you are i'm gonna go to that record shop or i'm gonna buy this because um i've just been saving money for no reason and it's kind of like the more you're open to just exchanging ideas and thoughts and being more interactive basically i just uh see the more you're going to bloom in your life so you can be dealing with aquarius placements taurus libra gemini um, I'm seeing air sign and fire sign, but Sagittarius and Gemini coming up strong. And do we have anything else? Where is my... And Scorpio, 8th house placements. As always, can be in your chart or the chart of anybody you're dealing with. If you want to book a more in-depth reading, I have my info down below. I also have testimonials posted if you want to check that out. Otherwise, that is all. Thank you so much and take care. Hello, Pile 2. Welcome to your reading. So... I see you're actually going through a time of a lot of independence with the fates you're following your purpose and this is 
coming up super super strong because we even have the north node and the north node is about destiny it's about purpose it's about fate just like we have here so there's a lot of emphasis on you moving forward in your life and it's um it is an energy of you know slow and steady wins the race with the knight of pentacles i see you learning to live more in the moment and to seek answers i'm seeing you're not you don't want to be impulsive and rash in love and in your life you're really really um trying to make the best of yourself and the best life that's going to serve your highest good there's a lot of maturity um almost a spiritual outlook right now that you're going through and you're stepping into i'm getting leo energy with lion spirit someone who has a lot going on for them there's like a quiet inner confidence and roar that is building you have a lot within you um you have a lot to offer to be honest in many aspects of your life and with star that can't be caught you're just not settling there's more people who are into you or are gonna be into you than you think there is and <laughs> i'm getting this energy of if it's not if it's not you know if it doesn't exceed or meet my expectations and i'm not going to indulge because i am so strongly on my journey i'm here to find like a proper match for me and you're stepping into a really powerful time wolf spirit turn knowledge into wisdom you've taken your past and you have learned from it and i see you're going sometimes i have to tell like my readers you have to heal you have to heal but i'm seeing the healing is occurring it's happening as as we speak deep cellular healing physical and emotional healing physical and emotional so i see your healing on a lot of different levels you understand how interconnected body mind and soul is um you're going through it feels like a it feels like a glow up honestly you're taking a lot of time for yourself with the four of swords and the hermit a lot of time to heal meditate recuperate especially during this time when there's not a lot to do this is the perfect time to really go inwards to not be afraid to see yourself because i feel the people who do that are going to come out of this it's, it depends where you are in the world right some places are a lot more restrictive but you're going to come out stronger and more ready and more prepared almost then we have the nine of cups guys i see you being so happy with yourself like there's a lot of self-love here i see you're going to be stepping into if you haven't already a much more content time in your life because you understand there's something good waiting for you you can feel you can feel destiny as you are on your destiny you understand oh my god i can feel like something good is about to happen and it's really exciting i think it's gonna take time until you guys do have another partner but i do see it being special or when love works out it's gonna be special with the lovers on the bottom of the deck Ooh, but like i said it's about time and waiting a little bit here right seven of pentacles waiting i want to see what else king of cups ace of wands queen of cups that is so beautiful it's gonna be super passionate and like beyond it's gonna feel beyond amazing there's like these two are soulmates right the king of cups the queen of cups both water um or cup court cards so i do feel like i can feel in my gut there's something good coming for you guys it's gonna take time but it's something spirit wants you to look forward to not like be impatient about but uh, understand and I think deep down you do have that understanding you are healing sometimes life stings and that's okay and I think you're I see you getting a better understanding of that and understanding these are you know my emotions and it's going to take time to heal and I'm going to be patient with myself and it's really really nice <laughs> be fearless and bold the way you're going to be tenacious and you're being called to continue to be fearless and bold now is the time to not give up on yourself to strike with your amazing personality because there's all this i just feel like a strong sacral chakra being activated like healing your sacral it's really coming out expression confidence just exuding this really beautiful energy continue to do that because it's going to work for you so so well and that looks to be about about it guys you can be dealing with virgo earth sign placements i'm seeing leo taurus pisces um 
We also had Gemini on the bottom of the deck, and we also have... I can't find it. Sagittarius, okay? All right, thank you guys so much. If you want to book a more in-depth reading, info's down below. Testimonials are posted on Instagram. Otherwise, that's all, everybody. Take care. Hello, pile three. So, with the two of swords, I am seeing... I am seeing you go through a period that's a bit slower, where you feel stuck. Um, that's really emphasized by the seven of pentacles, where you feel as if you're waiting around, waiting for love, waiting with the lovers here for someone to make either a decision or you're just, if you're single, waiting for love in general. Um, some of you are waiting for a specific person and you feel really stuck. and. I'm sensing there is some form of anxiety or there's this feeling of not feeling seen, hiding. Like, you may think to yourself, I don't feel like anyone sees me. I wish someone could truly see me or understand me. And I'm seeing there is a level of practicality with you. Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, Three of Pentacles, bottom of the deck. Beautiful. I see you guys really focused on yourself, pouring into yourself, and um, working on yourself and improving whatever it is you want to create and bring into this world and focusing on your finances. Yet there is, we need, to, uh, we want to get rid of this energy of stalemate. So spirit is saying, clear out the clutter, clear out the waiting. You know, if you're waiting on someone or if if you can't seem to make up your mind i'm hearing just clear it out and let it go i do see you guys making healthy choices okay in love and in life and being happier but it feels like there's also this energy that's still lingering the reason why you're also feeling happier is because i do see this negative energy exiting your life with a new start is coming new moon new beginnings are coming new energy is coming into your life fresh energy but as it's it still feels like you're waiting and sometimes you feel like you might not like the fact that you're waiting and because of that you feel like there's not enough love in your life or you're just feeling a form of lack um koi fish spirit there's always enough there is though and if you can try and work at that vibration of understanding i always am going to get what i need it will it will make this period easier let yourself be seen guys we have aquarian energy which is the visionary which is innovative which is ruled by the 11th house of friendship so i'm hearing connect during these odd times whether that's through online creating a vlog connecting with other people through whatever way i, I am hearing um if you feel like doing something a little bit unconventional to to uh, freshen up the energy, go with it. I see some of you guys doing that. Aquarius in the third house, um, bringing your ideas more to life and focusing on connections. But it just feels, you feel like you're waiting for something. I keep getting this energy of I'm waiting and I feel like sometimes you you don't, you don't have enough energy to pour into people. And uh, you don't have to hide you don't have to hide. I, it, now is the time to clear out space and make energy for new stuff because new beginnings, not just in love, guys, but in general, in life, wants to come for you. The universe wants you to step into the new and, and be excited about it. The sword, there's a lot of strength. You have become a lot stronger, especially with the queen of swords on the bottom of the deck. You guys aren't messing with any bs in your life you're you may feel a bit more cutthroat you but your your integrity is important to you is important to you here and as you're going on this voyage on this journey you are moving forward for sure the voyage is a really beautiful card it is about stepping into the unknown and just going with the flow it's interesting because in this karmic relationships card polarity soul growth conflict i do feel a lot of you are dealing with karmics karmic people in your life but in the voyage card it's really weird the whale is not in the water it's actually above the water and i see you <clears throat> not letting yourself drown in other people's energy you know what i mean like how this the both the people here are connected you're making a choice it feels to rise up above that and 
there's still this stalemate but i'm hearing you can't step out of that you can choose to not wait for love love shouldn't feel like something you should wait for you can choose to to take off the blindfolds and say i've made my choice and i'm happy with it and i trust in my choices so you can be dealing with libra placements i'm seeing earth sign libra aquarius again gemini strong gemini also i think that's it guys or wait i do have one more cancer or strong moon placements thank you all so much if you want to book a more in-depth reading my information is down below if you would like to check out testimonials on my instagram that is posted down below as well otherwise that is all take care hello pile four welcome to your reading so i'm getting two situations uh one situation is for those of you who are dealing with a specific person and want to know exactly what's going on and what's going to happen and for others of you just single in general don't have anyone in mind so guys this is intense we did have the tower come up some of you have already been through this tower moment of shocking truths or things really falling apart and who you believed someone to be was not who they were and this is a uh, this person is annoying me <laughs> because with the mending energy i feel like a lot of you they tried to fix things but it was a disaster or there is still a bit of an energy of them kind of wanting to fix things here but no bueno guys no good because i see this person is still being really reckless acting recklessly getting lit highly volatile relationship personality you guys might feel a little bit explosive right now too or you're gonna feel explosive because this tower moment or another tower moment is yet to come because i'm hearing something's going to be communicated you're going to find something out new moon in gemini and full moon in gemini so you're going to get some type of answer and i feel like you're not going to be pleased about it it's not gonna you have with the okay we have the ten of pentacles you have found inner stability within yourself or um, you have built something within yourself, especially with the North Node. That tells me you've been strongly following your purpose. You've been going through a positive transformation. You have been learning to embrace that transformation. North Node in the seventh house of relationships, which is really surprising, but it's telling me you're actually moving forward in your relationships. No matter what disasters are going around you, you're choosing to move forward. And that's really, really strong and powerful. Then I wanted to see what was going on because the mending card had me curious and the seventh house energy had me curious and we had playing the field still meeting dating other people seeing each other being a player games being played that's what i meant by no bueno that's what that tower is about i feel like you guys are just going to slowly get to come to know more and more that this person is not good for you for others of you we're just single not dealing with someone i just see um you've been carrying a lot of weight in your life even just everyone really there's been like carrying the weight of this connection or been carrying a lot of weight in your life and you feel left out or misunderstood and you're kind of all up in your head and overthinking this but i'm hearing stop like because you've been carrying this weight of either um feeling like oh i'm alone i'll never find someone or carrying someone else's energy and weight of trying to always be the person who carries other people's burdens you you've been put in this position of feeling lonely because no person can carry that weight and it's not your job it's not your responsibility and you owe it to yourself to let go of that weight so we can stop feeling in this energy these two people can step in the church anytime and that's what i'm hearing you can step you can you can walk inside you don't have to wait out in the cold anymore and you're really strong enough to do it like very powerful guys north node energy observer i kind of see you stepping healthy choices again you're going to be strong enough to get through this sometimes i have to tell people like oh like i have to console my viewers almost a little bit and like but w what i see here is a lot of repeating energy coming up in the readings we have badger spirit again be fearless and bold you've been super tenacious you've been bold you have been fearless you have built yourself up and it's gonna pay off for you um i s nine of pentacles Ooh, nine of pentacles empress on the bottom of the deck you're not letting this get you down guys i see if you haven't already you're gonna be stepping into your empress energy very abundant very satisfied with yourself and the fool you are going to be jumping into new beginnings and it's going to feel brave and courageous and beautiful and super super fabulous 
and what else am i getting here yeah guys i feel like for some of you guys within the next few weeks you're gonna find something out or your energy is going to be shifting we had not the right time wait so it just feels like this connection i'm hearing don't reach out i'm hearing it's not the right time for this if it's ever gonna be to be honest but this not the right time energy speaking to me about like it's not quite the right time right we had all your beautiful energy on the bottom of the deck it's yet to come um but we're we're kind of going through something here i can see because yeah adjustments are required it's about um getting all the gears in the right place for the right love for the right person and it's about releasing what do you need to release waning moon a lot of releasing needs to be done here guys of untying the ropes of no more breaking your back no more no more no more and we have chop wood so sometimes things are gonna feel repetitive guys and that's okay you can find ways to bring up bring spice into your life <laughs> however you can during these really tumultuous times but this is a strong group and you're very close to achieving your goal bottom of the deck you're gonna get there so i'm seeing we can be dealing with gemini placements we also have virgo scorpio libra and what else do i have pisces so this can be in your chart or your person's chart if any of you want to book a more in-depth reading for six dollars infos down below if you want to check out testimonials on my instagram you can do that as well otherwise that's all guys thank you so much and take care hello pile five so i see you guys have been holding on to some pain for pentacles the four pentacles is also representing to me being protective over yourself right being protective over that pentacle your heart your sense of security and safety for those of you who are in a connection both of you still see potential in this ace of pentacles but the issue here is with who's walking who it says control power issues resistant being led on being pulled overwhelmed it just it's not healthy right there's it shouldn't feel like mind games it shouldn't feel overwhelming and i'm seeing in this connection it, it is and i do see you guys looking back at the past and looking at this person and feeling really upset about how things are going but i see you being strong enough to get through it and taming your inner beast and <laughs> there really is a strong inner beast here with the full moon and aries i'm seeing explosive feelings for those of you who are in a connection in contact um for some of you guys there's going to be like an argument or there's going to be just you can't hold in your emotions anymore for others of you this may be more in private but i am seeing an outburst of emotions and i feel like because you guys may be holding on to this and looking back at the past you're getting yourself worked up about the past you're getting yourself worked up about the pain and your guides are saying uh seed the light by staying grounded star keeper so try and find ways to keep yourself grounded try not to um i know it's difficult when you're healing healing is a process so your emotions are valid and let them out how they need to but if you're confused on the situation your guides are saying protect your heart right now because you've you felt like a puppet to the situ uh the situation you have felt controlled um for some of you maybe your person has felt like this but i really feel like this is your energy that you have been led on and it's just hasn't been healthy sun and scorpio so again i do see attraction here but also manipulation and mind games and sun in virgo i see you focusing more on yourself on your work especially with this aries energy and new moon and aquarius i feel like once you're able to process your emotions you're going to be stepping into this more aquarian energy of where you're like Aqu aquarius is the water bearer and we all have aquarius in our chart you're going to find that actually i'm a powerful person my purpose needs me people need me life needs me and that's why i have to put myself back in there and stay grounded because by by fulfilling that i'm actually fulfilling my own happiness and my own healing and in feeling better and you guys are going to be taking care of yourself 
this has been coming up like insane so we're all collectively going through a period of making healthier choices self-love self-care being happier this pile is going through a um a bit of an overwhelming time okay this is coming up even with take time to breathe out take time to breathe take time to heal now is not the time to rush anything or overthink situations or try and figure out the next step now is the time for you yang and be assertive if this person keeps walking over you it's time to be assertive here i do see you stepping more into your masculine energy with yang and taking more action if any of you have been like having difficulty just being more active in your own life i see you you're going to be strong enough to do that now your perspective is starting to change with wonders in a good way you're starting to have a fresher perspective as you go through your healing but healing came up twice for you so that's a really strong message for what's next time to heal and a time for healing and time to heal that is literally what it says and that's okay so that is what i'm seeing for this pile guys um you can be dealing with leo virgo scorpio leo coming up strong we also have aries coming up strong in aquarius this can be in your chart or your person's chart for anybody who wants to book a more in-depth reading my information is down below if you want to check out testimonials on instagram you can also do that otherwise that is all thank you so much and take care hello pile six and welcome to your reading now this is probably the best pile so far it's still a messy situation but it's interesting so for your tarot we have the justice the knight of wands and the page of wands and i know you're probably like how is that the best reading so far and i will explain now let's get the negative out of the way i don't know why i did quotation marks it is kind of negative but it's okay because i am seeing there's going to be blessings coming into your life regardless so the person you're dealing with this is a bit of a in and out energy can even be a bit of a player energy here guys someone who's super charming i see this person's in your life or is going to come in into your life but with the page of swords um here i feel there's more of a stalker energy some of you guys are going to be getting communication and the thing is guys we have what a catch an ideal partner or mate abundance self-esteem value the answer is the answer is yes marriage material and i found it really interesting that we have what a catch and we have a fish here and then we have the full moon in pisces which is ruled by these two fishes this to me is saying there's a strong sense of idealization i think both of you are doing this you both romanticize each other but you are doing it more because the message here towards you is to really ground yourself pisces full moon in pisces about is releasing all the illusions if you hype this person too much when in fact they are only a knight of wands right they're not a king of cups they're not a king of anything they're not a provider here um or this is going to be something stable if you're in separation yes your person's missing you yes your person sees something special in you as you do especially with the seventh house energy coming in super interesting we had pisces in the seventh house and virgo in the seventh house and these two are opposite each other and again it's like that polar opposite of daydreaming and idealization and needing to ground yourself with virgo what i'm hearing is for the potential to this connection even work if it will work spirit is being very vague with us what is hidden will be revealed as you ground yourself and work on your manifestations we have a card about that as well your life is a canvas artist manifestation creative accountability as you take more accountability for in your life because i'm seeing there's something growing within you spirit is saying we want you you're being asked to create right now that's major you're being asked to create in your life to balance your pisces and virgo energy pisces is the the ethers downloads from spirit virgo is bringing them down to earth and working on them combining those energies then you're going to start to see uh, reap benefits in your relationships 
what is hidden will be revealed for some of you this person is going to be pushing you away is there something here i see something i really do especially with pisces coming up and virgo in the seventh house of relationships and the what a catch card there's interest here but you guys need to learn from the past from whatever past situations you've been through there's still some lessons that you need to apply right that you need to really learn from here and if this is meant to be it will be guys i'm not saying no never but this person needs to be accountable for themselves and you need to be accountable for you and you need to be able you can't romanticize this person and if you learn to ground yourself in your own life you will stop romanticizing them you will see them for who they are and um some type of blessing is coming in your life i do feel like it can be this person because this person's missing you or does long for you here but they're unsure of the future and there is a lot of mystery and vagueness in this connection and believe it or not this is the best reading so far because there is a certain level of potential here but i don't want you the message here isn't to like uh, hold on to potential we have co-create so you two can make a really lovely team but again this they need to level up you have your own inner work they need to be someone who gives you what you deserve as well right and we have spider spirit make your dreams alive we literally have the cards patience blessings and diligence come up if you can be patient guys if you can be diligent you're gonna get all the blessings you have been waiting and hoping for here but understand life is a mystery and it's gonna work out beautifully for you guys there is this beautiful like really nice energy in this reading for the potential of your future and what you can create i'm seeing growth i'm seeing sitting on top of the world like i see you're gonna be feeling very very pleased with yourself if you can be diligent and patient and about the love with the love that's coming in and in your life it feels really really positive and exciting and what else am i seeing I think that's it guys um so yeah for now let go of this and 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 this story will unveil itself it's not quite set in stone here and i see you can be dealing with libra virgo pisces placements fire sign air sign especially libra pisces coming up strong and earth sign on the bottom of the deck and yeah guys so this can be in your chart or your person's chart if you want to book a more in-depth reading my info is down below if you want to check out testimonials on my instagram you can do that as well otherwise that is all thank you so much and take care hello pile seven welcome to your reading now this is super interesting i want to start off with the separation card it says sadness missing you thinking about you unsure of the future you both are thinking about each other but there's a lot of stalemate sorry st stalemate stalemate in this connection things not moving forward people uh not making a choice both of you maybe more so your person transformation is beautiful things are changing this connection is changing but someone is not adapting to the change change is the only true constant and when you avoid that you're kind of just avoiding the inevitable and guys what i'm actually seeing is you both have your own side to the story dolphin spirit this and that are true dolphin spirit talks about how you know at the end of the day you both have your own opinions and when i get this um when i'm getting this idea and leverage a balance like this coming up in a reading to me that is speaking about how spirit is saying you two both need to look deeper your person may be more stubborn than you okay they may be the one who has too much pride king of wands to to admit that they miss you <laughs> sleep on it think before you speak at rest don't sabotage call it a day need a break sleep deprived it's like that sleep on it they're just like eh, i'll just sleep on it whatever type energy you know they're not really taking action here but the thing is they they care here they they do i don't think they're in tune with their feelings and their emotions i don't think um they're ready for that and if this 
even you guys, I'm hearing it's time to like let go of the grudge with mending. Both of you want to mend this connection, but it's about letting this, pa letting the past go because there is a there's a stork, right? This is like a baby being delivered. There is like a <laughs> so cute. There is like a a birth of something new that could happen. Is it gonna happen anytime soon? <laughs> not really guys just because we have the devil we have the ten of swords i see this being you know not built on a healthy foundation and people you guys or your person you're not willing to do that even though there is something definitely definitely here we have mending right which is about for you mending which is about forgiveness and we have i'm sorry writing past wrongs uprooting I do feel like your person cares more than they show. If someone has apologized here and the other person hasn't chosen to actually um, be true to themselves, because I feel like you, you, someone, your person maybe is avoiding the love, romance, is avoiding to see this connection truly. <laughs> Lost wisdom, look a little deeper both of you especially your person may need to look a little deeper maybe you guys have been like no i'm not gonna i'm just gonna protect myself i'm not going to make a choice here but i'm hearing it's time to look a little bit deeper because tra this connection is transforming and that's it's changed and in some ways for the better or you know you've gone through what you've gone through but i'm seeing there's still something here stork is literally a baby right some of you guys are gonna have a child that's very very few of you but it's like something new this blessing is almost coming but we're still stuck in this energy of either codependency or toxicity or control issues all of these things of that nature this connection holds potential right to mend but we really got to clean things up your person has to be willing to communicate and open up where you need to be willing to um, whoever is really pushing this away needs to clean it up and look deep you can't i feel like your person is avoiding the mess maybe they've made and they're not ready to face that for a few of you maybe you guys are this is i'm mainly getting your person right with the sleep on it it's like they don't want to clean it up even though it's like everyone almost knows that's what that's what is being called for you can't find goodness because you lost your heart a lot of you feel a little bit heartless because you've faced so many harsh realities and truths and it's been really really difficult there is negative energy in this connection with slimy this person gets jealous you may get jealous of this person too right there's an addiction like quality here but there's the potential of something pure too if you both can make it work you know so this needs time guys we had romance come up i'm seeing something special something a little bit all over the place i won't lie with the void it may feel hopeless or it felt really hopeless in the past but i'm seeing something wanting you know what's really interesting we have i'm sorry which shows me all these roots and we have protection this tree with roots the roots are strong they c this connection cannot just be broken like those roots are there and you've gr you've both grown from those roots and you can't like there's no avoiding this there's no running from this you can physically but mentally they can't they can't um really interesting reading so it may be some time guys until this works if it works but i see potential here venus in the sixth house in the meantime i see you guys um pouring a lot of energy into yourself into your work your health your physical health your daily routine and actually enjoying it with a north node this is beautiful i'm seeing you following your purpose your destiny and really really growing and transforming and it's super amazing not only that you're attracting abundance into your life good things so that's something um, to be excited about here. And I do feel um, full moon in Aquarius. People need to, to make this connection work. You need to look at it from a more, or this person, both of you may need to look at it from a more mature outlook. 
detaching from those emotions from the to- from the toxicity like having to look at it from a higher perspective and i don't think your person's ready or both of you are ready yet but it feels like that's needed and i feel the more you just kind of detach and focus on your higher inspirations and dreams and ideals 11th house and um your interests and life which i see you kind of doing it's going to help you transition and you know whatever happens with this happens it does feel like a to be continued energy i'm not spirit is not showing us anything further than this right now so you can be dealing with aquarius virgo taurus libra placements we also have capricorn placements fire sign and cancer this can be in your chart or your person's chart for anyone who wants to book a more in-depth reading for six dollars my information's down below you can check out testimonials on my instagram if you want to otherwise that's all thank you so much and take care hello pile eight welcome to your reading so starting off we have the queen of wands and the two of wands so you're really stepping into your power you're stepping into a much more creative and expressive time and of looking out into the future a lot of three coming up into your reading which to me represents a more joyful a more expansive and again creative time and that's showing in this more like um strong and confident person and who's not afraid to to be themselves and let their inner fire out wherever fire is in your chart i'm just seeing someone more expressive and and willing to expand and not afraid to speak your truth more as well followed by we have the knight of swords and the three of cups so honestly for a lot of you you're going to be getting communication from someone and you're going to be really happy about it three energy though is not the most solid in love because what i'm seeing with in between worlds you you're gonna end up feeling kind of stuck because maybe this connection is not moving forward to that place of commitment or it's going in circles or it's staying in this friend zone energy or this friends with benefit energy and with be bold and make the be bold and make the first move for some of you this person really wants to call you really wants to reach out but they're afraid to be bold and connect with you but there's this longing because you're really uplifting to this person especially if you're in separation with someone um they they miss you and and it does make them sad but again i am hearing guys what's interesting here is with the south node in the fourth house and in cancer you would be so comfortable with being in a cozy relationship right now and just loving someone cuddling up with someone just having that comfort but your guides are like you are way too gifted we have way too much planned for you honey you need to look at the bigger picture because there's adventure there's dreams to be achieved there is fulfillment to have had that is coming up strongly with the golden children inner child tenderness innocence and rare gifts you're going through this more playful creative time and you're supposed to take all that great energy and put it into the opposite of the fourth house of home into your career so i know love would be great right now you may have a little fling fling thing going on here or someone who wants to have a fling with you is what i'm seeing um but it's just not time yet especially with everything you need too soon this just clarifies to me it's not time yet and your reading's not bad at all i'm getting a very positive vibe i'm seeing a more happier energy and outlook on life for you a more a time of more celebration and just feeling positive and feeling positively connected to your emotions sometimes you guys may feel a little bit codependent though and frustrated learning how to be human in the world but not of it learning the the understanding of the full process right the bigger picture if you get stuck on the tiny details of right now i know it can be frustrating especially during this time but with predictions of growth you guys are flourishing big time especially with the three of cups energy that to me represents you're going to be celebrating something a lot of you have good news coming in that's coming up super strong because we have stork a new addition ideas manifested good news inspiration family this can be good news in the family some type of success you're celebrating it seems like good news though and it feels again super positive um 
sometimes life stings so yes we are growing and flourishing but i think sometimes the past or the feeling of your relationships not reaching the point you want them to reach can sting it can hurt a little bit but with it's up to you i'm hearing you have a lot of power right now to create the life you want to create some of you guys work from home expect powerful change definitely feeling guys for this pile a lot of positive changes coming into your life things really shifting in your favor for you okay so you can be dealing with cancer coming up strong we also have air sign fire sign sagittarius sagittarius coming up strong this can be in your person or your person's chart we also have aries cancer libra capricorn moon placements again in your uh in your chart or your person's chart thank you all so much for watching if you want to book a more in-depth reading for six dollars my information's down below if you want to check out testimonials on my instagram you can do that as well otherwise that's all thanks again bye